welcome back to my channel today we're doing island twist those are three different types of hair you have the curly hair you have the pre-stretch conical on hair you have the uh marley hair uh and those are what i have on the display and there i'm doing the first um way that you can do island twist of attaching the hair so um i do a plate a regular plate and then i crochet the the hair through it and then i do the wrapping and you just wrap to um the point where you think it's safe enough it doesn't have to be too far down and then you see i added the um uh pre-stretch uh conical in here and you're just gonna add the hair accordingly because you don't want the you want the hair to be uh consistent in size and make sure your hand is firm enough on the hair because you don't want the hair to be too i mean the twist to be too uh curly it still has to have that little straightness in it and there i add the curly pieces so you just randomly add here as you go along um if you do want a more marley looking island twist make it more marley not as smooth you add more marley here vice versa if you want it to be more smooth you have more pre-stretch hair um depending on how full you want your island twist you add more curly hair but i don't want it to be too overbearing with curly hair so and make sure when you complete the twist you do have um a piece of curly hair at the bottom so that kind of give you um that curl at the tip of the end of the twist or at the end of the twist you have that curly piece out so make sure you have the last hair that you attached or the last hair that is going to be seen is the curly hair when you complete the twist and for the um completion of the twist i just put a little bit of um glue nail glue on the end so that completes the first one the second way of attaching the hair to the scalp you just do the regular uh almost like they call it senegalese or rope twist that's how you originally um do it with a twist and not with a plate or plat so there you see I add the hair. You can do it with the Marley hair first, but I chose to do it with the um, pre-stretched braiding hair and braid all the way down. And you can add the hair as you go along, but make sure you have that consistency with the twist. So in this case, I do have the pre-stretched hair first and then I add the Marley hair, but throughout the twist i do had curly pieces so there you see i am doing the twist all the way down twisting all the way down all of the um twist should have the same um ending meaning the, the the twist should have like a curly piece at the end for your finish you should have a curly piece at the end and i do put uh nail glue on the hand just a little bit just a dab of glue just to secure it if you want you can do a knot but i feel that the um uh, the curly i mean the the glue is more secure so there i just complete both and then i'm on to the third one this is the knotless version or the knotless method you just braid the client's hair um, regularly as you would do with a knotless. Start it off with knotless and keep adding the pieces of conical and pre-stretch hair. And when you reach a certain point or maybe that tree stitched down, you just add the hair. You can add the pre-stretch marley hair, I mean braiding hair, or you had the marley hair, whichever you prefer and with the curly pieces you can add it as soon as you want to you don't have to go all the way down as you see me because especially at the front of the hair when you're doing the style you have to take out the marley hair right at the front like as soon as you do maybe one or two stitch you because you want to give it that 
fuller look or you want to give it that curly piece at the front on the twist so you gotta take the hair out when you're doing the the twist at the front take it out as soon as possible so there you see I have all the braids done three different ways they're all completed the same way you had the curly the last piece of hair should be showing at the bottom is the curly piece and then you just complete it by putting a dab of glue on there so if you're not sure about anything you can just leave a comment in the comment section and i will try to answer it as best as i can island twist is basically like you doing regular senegalese twists or um, marley twists um, the only difference is that you combine the, the pre-stretch hair or kind of color hair with the marley hair so that's the only difference and then you add the curly pieces so there you have it let me know what you guys think that's how you do um island twists three different ways how i do it anyways so thanks for watching i will see you guys in my next video please remember to subscribe bye